is a presentation of HBO Sports. Born on opposite sides of the world, each burdened with excessive shares of adversity. I had to grow up a lot in this house. Welcome to my first gym. This is place where I began. Two men long ago identified the same craft as an escape. Now, they're together at the absolute pinnacle of their sport. He's done. Kovalev has another knockout. Ward landing when he wants to, where he wants to. Neither having ever lost a professional bout. <laughs> Both knowing what a victory over the other would signify at present and for all time. Get ready to go up against a great champion in Sergey Kovalev, and I've been ready for you know opportunities like this for a long time. I already proved everything to everybody, and uh, November 19, I should to prove first of all for myself that I'm better than Andrew Ward. Two paths that began far apart and long ago, now meeting on November 19th with the light heavyweight title of the world at stake. <laughs> this is the road to Kovalev Ward. The climate and locale of Oxnard, California, has long made it one of the West Coast's biggest agricultural hubs. Not to mention a year-round retreat for avid surfers. But in recent years, it's also become home to a thriving boxing community, whose most celebrated members now include the light heavyweight champion of the world, Sergei Kovalev. I like to train here in Oxnard because weather is good, close to ocean, you know, like, and I can get concentrate and focus uh, for, for my training camp and start uh, to think about the fight and for my strategy. Andrew Ward is a huge test for me for the next step in my career. The long upward climb of the 33-year-old Kovalev's career has taken him from the bowels of obscurity to universal recognition as one of the most destructive punchers in the sport. That's what makes Sergei Kovalev special. Thunderous, straight on power. He's gonna hit you as hard as he can possibly hit you every chance he gets. Kovalev has another knockout, and he made it look easy. And Kovalev was perhaps more impressive than ever in his light heavyweight title unification bout against ring legend Bernard Hopkins in 2014. Down goes Hopkins on the first solid right hand that Kovalev threw. He has extraordinary power. Listen, the power that he has is, is unreal. I mean, it's, it's God-given. Either you have it or you don't. If you don't belong here with you, it's your time. People saw Sergey not just a puncher. Sergey can technically fight. Sergey can control himself into the ring. Sergey's a patient in the ring. You know, I just uh, got into the, into the ring and did my job. Maybe it, lo it looked uh, easy, but it was not easy. And now, on November 19th, he and his team will be eager to prove that Andre Ward's considerable gifts also cannot overcome Kovalev's power and discipline. The fact that he's champion, that's his motivation. And, 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 you know, and I told him, I said, when a guy signs a contract to fight you, he's telling you that he can kick your butt. So guess what you got to prove to him? You put you with the wrong person to mess with. And that's what you're gonna do come, you know, November 19th. After all this tough uh, road, you know, like, you get the uh, status of champion. And right now I'm champion, and uh, I wanna kick his ass, you know, because, like, uh, he's on my way right now uh, to my dreams. For so many fighters, the pursuit of glory in boxing is at its heart an escape. But even if that's the case with Andre Ward, he prefers to live and train right where he's from, here in Oakland. I stay in the Bay Area. I stay local for you know all of my training camps. It's a, it's a you know it's a, it's a huge fight. It's probably the biggest biggest fight that boxing can make right now. And I understand all that, but 
the reality is in my mind, like the intensity is no different. The approach is no different. I'm not sacrificing more for this one than I did for the last two or three. And it's funny because, you know, people will come up and say, man, it's a big one. And I'm like, bro, they've all been big. It's an approach that's left Ward undefeated at every level of competition since he was 14. A run that's included a gold medal at the 2004 Olympics and an ascent to the top of the pro ranks super middleweight division. But in 2013, his rise was upended by legal issues with a promoter and a host of injuries, leading to a long layoff. Simply put, man, the layoff, you know, doesn't define me. It refines me. Um, and that's humbling. Yeah, 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 yeah. He went more than a year and a half without fighting, and at times found himself doubting that he'd ever return to the ring. You know, I'd written a whole retirement speech. I meant every word of it. I still have it saved, the date, the time, everything to this day, as a reminder of what I was going through and the, and the point that I was at. But I got great people around me. Well, I mean, what would any man think, you know, when you're going through that? It just goes back to keeping him, his spirits up and letting him know that it would be an end to it. When the legal issues finally were resolved, Ward and his team decided his return would also be a move up in weight. He outclassed Paul Smith at 172 pound catchweight in June 2015, and then moved up to light heavyweight to face the formidable Sullivan Barrera this past March. Ward thoroughly in control of the fight up to this point. He seems to have the boxing advantage against Barrera, and he knocks him down with a quick left hook. It was an impressive showing, and just four months later, he aimed to continue the success against Alexander Brand. But this time, even in a unanimous decision victory, the reviews were decidedly mixed. I know the brand fight wasn't my best performance. And he's a veteran. And when you have a guy that doesn't want to get knocked out and you have a guy that's just looking to land a lucky punch, it's a very difficult individual to look good on. But we got our hand raised and we moved on to the next. And after the bout, a familiar spectator came into the ring to make boxing's most anticipated bout of 2016 all but official. I want to be the light heavyweight champion of the world. I had to get past this step, so I'll see you in November. If he's ready, and I'm ready to do. Thank you, Andre. Congratulations. Thank you, Sergey. A month before that joint appearance, Kovalev had fought a summer tune-up bout in Russia, his first time fighting back in his homeland in nearly five years. But his opponent, the veteran Isaac Chalemba, turned out to be a tougher assignment than expected. It was a great moment, you know, in my career. Chilemba was not easy opponent. It's very uncomfortable style for me. I look maybe not like people wanted and how I wanted. Chilemba has been confusing him with timing and footwork for the last couple of rounds. It was very difficult to get open target, you know. Isaac Chilemba may have found something which can bother Sergey Kovalev as the fight continues. He did what he was supposed to do. Could he done it better? Yes, he could have, but it wasn't bad. It just wasn't the, the shining star that we usually see. The fight went the full 12 rounds, with Kovalev winning by unanimous decision. Still, there was no knockout, and thus, an unshakable sense of disappointment, even from inside his camp. In, in a way, it was a blessing in disguise, because every now and then you need that. It was a wake-up call for him, and, and, and it was a great wake-up call. Several months later, back in Oxnard, Tonight's sparring partner is undefeated contender Alexander Gvozdik, coincidentally taking on Isaac Chalemba in the November 19th undercard. Though here, he's tasked with playing the role of Andre Ward. We have to be smart in our approach with this fight here, not to only offset his traps, set our own traps. Hopefully make him do things that he doesn't want to do and make it feel uncomfortable. He teach me, you know, when, I sp when you spar with strong, you're getting stronger. It's a big honor for me to spar with him, and uh, I think I'm learning when I spar with him. War presents a good problem, he, because he can be evasive, and he, he can nullify a fighter's power because of his intelligence and the fact that he, he frustrates you. My fist is already itching <laughs> to kick somebody else. Every training camp is uh, tough, and somebody should pay for this, you know, in the ring. <laughs> All right, so just stand right here and put your right thumb in your side. Yeah, that one, good. 
So today, what we're going to do is pinch him to get a tentative body fat to make sure that our nutrition plan is on point as well as he's kind of moving in the right direction with his goals. You get to this level, you want to remove the guesswork and get hard numbers and understand where you are and where you need to be. Okay, face that way, and then I'm just going to get your tricep. Andre Ward has always been a fighter who thrives on precision, making routines like biweekly body fat readings a natural fit in his latest training camp. And for this camp, it's all supervised by a legend in the field of strength and conditioning. Well, listen to that. My name is Mackie Shulstone, and I've been in the field of what I call sports performance management for over 40 years. My experiences with people from Serena Williams for eight years to Peyton Manning last year. He's worked with great champions. He's been successful with great champions. And, and Mackie talks that talk. And what I mean is he talks that war talk. He understands it. It's Yoda and, uh, and uh, Luke Sty Skywalker. He's got to learn to use his baton. <clears throat> You know, it feels good to have somebody around you who understands that you're getting ready to go to war and the mindset it takes to be successful in battle. Bernard Hopkins had the greatest discipline. Roy Jones had the greatest gifts. That man, Andre Ward, has the greatest intensity. It's zero to 100. If Ward compares favorably to Shillstone's Hall of Fame roster of former clients, every ounce of the fighter's focus will be necessary against Kovalev though the degree of difficulty is exactly what he embraces. To now go to a higher weight class and once again pick on a bully and say, hey man, let's fight. And then to beat him when he has all the belts that he has and has the mystique that he has, that's all I can think about. I'm not chasing approval. I'm not chasing any of that. I'm right where I need to be. And I'm unapologetically Andre Ward. On occasions like this one, on the verge of the most penetrating reminders of boxing's unique irresistibility, the dichotomies always shine brightest. In the case at hand, it's the ferocious puncher matched with the brilliant boxer. Andre Ward is mentally relentless. He sees his advantages, and he presses them constantly. A classic clinician against a dominant warrior. This guy is a mean fighter. The most sinister presence in the ring of anyone in boxing. Coming together for a display that promises at once brutal violence and mesmerizing exactitude. And yet, beyond those stark contrasts, there is so much that Sergei Kovalev and Andre Ward share. So much they'll both do in the pursuit of victory. I like to make a pain to my opponents, you know, like, uh, I want to make him pain. I'm serious about this sport, man. I love it. I've given my life to it, literally. I can say that he's a dirty fighter. I will broke his hands, his arms. If he's going to make something dirty, like, I will do the same. When they say, they're gonna do this to me, I ain't gonna do nothing. That's the mindset, it's not arrogance. It's just a determined mentality. You're not gonna do anything. And show me that I'm, show me that I'm wrong. They are two of the best boxers in the world. Two fighters who've each never lost a bout. And on November 19th, the dichotomies and the parallels will once again converge into the irresistible. Don't miss the live fight Sergei Kovalev versus Andre Ward on HBO Pay-Per-View November 19th.